Explain your, your explain your sign to me. I want to know what your sign means. I don't think I understand. Well, he was saying that he he needs to his, love. His, his needs have to be fulfilled. That's what he's saying. What I'm saying, if he wants his needs to be fulfilled, then he gotta work for it. But he cannot wait for the society to change to fulfill to fulfill his needs. He's he's gonna make changes to his own life before he expects yeah, other people. Seems like she likes you, he, he thinks that this is work. So, Roman, we're here at Starbucks, and and your mom is here, but she's not going to be on film. Yeah, yeah. But she's here to like she, yeah, she talk really to you if you out. go astray or something. Yeah, basically for the past five or six years. Something happened in my brain. I had a trigger, and then I just got I started being scared first of a lot of stuff, and then. All of a sudden, it worked its way into like I was just scared of this, scared of that. And this is before any medication. Yeah, this is before any, I ran away upstate New York for a while mm -hmm. because I was like, I, I wanted to be left alone. But leaving myself alone, they kind of. Yeah, you start getting in your own thoughts too much. My started to develop more and more. And then eventually I ended up in the hospital because I started banging my head against the wall. I said stupid things about that, you know, someone should choke me out or something like that. You know? When you were inside the institution? No, when I was in my. In my apartment. That's oh, okay. How, that's how like it. you started to lose it. That's how I got institutionalized because I started to give up because like I wasn't going to the park anymore. I didn't have anything going, so I kind of like. There's no park to go to. It was winter, right? Or were you talking about no, this no, happened this in still, the this in late still summer? Still like yeah, remember I made my apology, yep. I made my apology, and then after that. Okay. And the funny thing is, before every, all of this happened, I had a feeling about something. Like had a feeling that something was going to happen, and still, so I kind of that's why I made my apology. It's like, it's a it's a what? Family house. It's nice. You have your own like place to yourself. The air, up there? the air is beautiful there. Well, yeah, I usually have. I, there's rooms there. Do you have to share it with somebody? Well, no. When my when no my mom might rent one of the apartments, but when no when no I one's there, it. I have the whole house to myself. I my mom owns the house. I but anyway, it was all a delusion, pretty much the whole thing. Right. It was all based on a delusion. So. When you when you think back, because you you were up there for years, holding signs with all different kinds of things. Yeah. When you look back on that, are you? disgusted with yourself or you like that was just a phase or it was funny well, but I don't feel that anymore well, or what do you feel? The reason I was like my friend Paul said when studying psychology I had a in my childhood I had a bad um, my stepfather he was a very bad person he was very abusive okay low self-esteem so I needed I needed to lift my self-esteem by going to the park and holding signs and also like the sexually molest molestation it's thing all we, attached it's, it's all, all it, my growing up was kind of, and also genetically in my family I have a history of kind of like some schizophrenia Okay. They didn't have a trigger that really triggered it to get to that level where I got. So now it's like, you know. but the thing with with medical, you know, with the medical marijuana is now I was considering moving somewhere where they allow. So you uh, you went and got a diagnosis from a doctor, and he said this is an option for you, and it sounded like the right thing to you. Or what? what? Medical mar even yeah. Medical mar no, 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 no. The doctors here don't even talk about it. No, my mom did the research on. I see. Despite all this. Yeah. I saw that you still are coming out with a sign. You had your Raelian sign yeah. a few days ago, or a yeah. couple days ago, yesterday. Was that yeah, yesterday? Right. Yeah. yeah we're all and so, are you, are you planning on still coming back to the park with a sign? And, uh, I, and feel, I, uh, I feel that's a safe. It's a safe belief system for me. I, I called one of the Raelians from New York. The, his doctor. Uh, there's a doctor. If you go to their website. He's in. Uh, he's in Syracuse. He's not a psychiatrist, but he's a Raelian. And I, I feel safe with them for some reason in hard times. I feel their their beliefs. They kind of. Um, make me feel better. And now it's been taking yeah, away from masturbating you. Masturbating was, was like part of my that was my life, and now I don't do it because I don't have that. I mean, it's going to come back when you are now off the medication. Now medication is kind of I'm getting used to it now. I'm getting used to being a new person. I can talk to a girl now without looking at her as a girl. I mean, I can just be friends, you know. All right, we'll right worry about you. You're on medication. You can't. So you don't want to see any more oh, I've got a lot, and I'm only going to show a little bit of it. You can only see so many pictures. I think it's good that you're doing it. It's art. I like it. That's good, too. Watch out. You're going to destroy the book. Uh, all right. Nice. What is that? It's like an animal, like a weird animal. All right. Is this something you started doing when you were in the institution? They encouraged you to do art? This, some, of, some of them I did there, but this I did at home when I was going through my really bad schizophrenic episodes. All right.
<laughs> nice, yeah, that one goes the other way. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, good, good. So you, can I show you more? If you want, sure. Now, one of the things that you and I both have in common, and I feel that this is going to be a factor, is when the weather gets nice, you're going to want to be back at Union Square. And you're not going to be able to think about anything else. And despite everything you're saying, like, I'm not coming back to the city or whatever, once Union Square opens up, you're going to, then the weather's nice, are you going to come back? Maybe, maybe not, because, because, maybe, maybe not, because I do, I did make friends when I was on the side board, so I have a friend, a girl, like Angie, I went to the movies with her the other day, I have other friends I call, so I'm trying to build myself a support network, because I don't really know if I want to go back to Union Square, to be honest with you, because I'm not going to do anything crazy. If, if I do, if I do go by Union Square, it might be, I, I went the other day with the Aurelian sign. Yeah. I like the rail lines, you know, I like that. Uh, but I'm not going to go around probably saying that, um, uh, obviously, if I was uh, the Chosen War of the King, I wouldn't end up with schizophrenia.